Happy New Year! My name is Wayne Janis, and I'm a member here at the Community Church at Ocean Pines. Uh, and they asked me to do the uh, the daily devotional today. So for this morning, I picked a couple of uh, Bible passages that I wanted to talk about that have uh, had some meaning for me recently. First one is Psalm 92, verses uh, one through five. It is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name, O Most High proclaiming your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night to the music of the ten-string lyre and the melody of the harp. For you make me glad by your deeds, Lord. I sing for joy at what your hands have done. How great are your works, Lord. How profound are your thoughts. And the second passage that I wanted to, uh, to talk about today or use was um, a letter from... Paul, first letter from Paul to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. And Paul says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Um, as you all know, we just came through um, several really key holidays, starting with Thanksgiving and Christmas, and just finished a few days ago with New Year's. Um, and I found myself starting at Thanksgiving sort of thinking about being thankful to God and, and grateful, and it sort of carried over into the new year. Um, and I've been thinking a lot about 2022 as we've transitioned now to 2023. And speaking personally for me, and as it relates to these scripture readings I just read, um, probably the best um, author that I've seen about uh, the year I had was good old Charles Dickens from The Tale of Two Cities. And I'm not just going to read the first two phrases, I'm going to read the rest, the rest of this first portion. And this sort of encapsulates how I feel about my year. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of, in epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light. It was a season of darkness. It was a spring of hope and it was the winter of despair. Um, to describe my year of 2022, personally in my own words, I would say it was a, an awful, horrendous, grim, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic year. And that might not make sense to you, but um, it was all of that rolled into one. And I find myself at the end of the year saying, thank you, Lord, for all of it. Um, starting at the beginning of the year, I found myself in February in a hotel room in Ocean City, not knowing where I was going to be living, not having any friends here, not knowing what I was going to do, and I was really at a very, very low point in my life, and I cried out to God, and He said, you know, I'll, I'll take care of you, just stay beside me. And uh, that was not a time in my life that I was really in a very thankful mood for God. I wasn't <laughs> thankful for my situation. And I'm sure many of you out there have been through something similar. Um, and that's a time of our lives that we just... It's hard to be thankful, but he says right here, um, give thanks in all circumstances. And that took me a while, but as the year progressed, um, things changed. I got found a place to live. I got involved in this church. I met some wonderful people who had some great friendships. And by the end of the year, I was in a totally different place from where I was at the beginning of the year. And I thank God for all of it. And looking back on the whole year, <coughs> excuse me, Giving thanks in all circumstances is something that I've had to do um, this entire year, and it's been a challenge, and it's also been something really great. And I think what it means to me is as I've found this, as I thank God more and make it part of my life, my whole attitude has changed because I become, I become more positive, I become more gracious, more loving, and really more humble, uh, and really a better Christian, I think by living through these words. And one more thing I wanted to mention, going back to the psalm that I read, it talks a lot about music. Um, music has always meant a lot to me from when I was a very small boy. When I was going through struggles as a child, as a teenager, as we all do, I often found music that would speak to me when I was low, when I was in a relationship, after I had been through a breakup, I mean, you name it. Music was always seemed to be there to sort of take me to another place and it certainly does 
even in, in here at, at church. And I know um, we've got three services here. I happen to attend the 915 service with the Psalm 66 praise band because that's kind of the music that I like. I know the, there's the other services have different styles of music. And, you know, it's whatever, whatever you, you like um, that just happens to speak to me. And music is just a wonderful thing. And I'm so glad God came up with the whole concept of music because it has to come from him. It's just so beautiful. So I, I give, him th give him thanks for that. <clears throat> Excuse me as well. So I just want to close with a, with a prayer and just, uh, be, just let everybody know how thankful I am for, for what he's done. Dear Lord, um, thank you for 2023 and thank you for this new year. Um, it's really great to be able to start a new year and, and look forward to something. And I, I just pray that you'll, you'll meet us where we are. I know many of us here have struggled um, I know from my Wednesday night Wednesday Bible study, from talking to people, there's been people that have struggled with um, um, sickness, this illness this year, past year, and losing loved ones, and addictions, and financial issues, and all sorts of things that they've had to struggle with, Lord. And I just pray that you will touch them and heal them and meet them where they are and help us this year to remember to just be thankful in all of the things that happened to us. I know it's very hard. It was hard for me. Help us to do that, Lord, because you say in your word, we have to be thankful in everything. And I just pray, Lord, for a great 2023 and just bless everybody here. Bless Dale and Carrie as they minister to us. And, um, you know, Austin and, and Maud and, and Denise and everybody that's involved here and Ted. And I just, I just praise you for all of them, Lord, and for this, all the ministries of this church. And I just want to reach out to everybody and say thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.